between the Miami Marlins and the Philadelphia Phillies. Stay tuned for Phillies baseball next. Hector Neris will be on the mound for the series opener. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here. Career ERA in the low Leading threes, and that's not an Miami. easy thing to do in the, the day right and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences. Rock solid pitcher, does a lot of things well, and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. First offering on its way. First of three here on a Friday night as the first pitch is in first there pitch. for strike one. These Phillies as they enter play here tonight fellas. They came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah Maddie, this definitely looks like a situation where somebody's going to have to call a team meeting. I don't know if it comes from a veteran or the manager decides to close the doors for a second but this team has not played well they find themselves losing lately they lost the last game and they're going to need a spark to get this thing turned around that gets down and he's got himself a base hit so here in the first inning the leadoff man's aboard to kick things off that hey that's nice execution the right there swung Miguel. through the first slider got oh, it again huh. stayed tall kept his hands back didn't try and do too much and delivered a nice base hit Into the box, Miguel Rojas as he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. He'll start play with that average down in the low 230s. Two home runs and 14 driven in. Now the 1 0 is outside for a ball. Well, here's a guy we know is swinging it pretty well at the plate lately, and based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. He's nope. doing a great job of putting himself at counts where he's likely to be successful. Here it comes on three and zero, oh. taking all the way that time. It's three and one. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. Three zero oh and turned to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. Reined in, and indeed he won't try to force it at second. He'll just flip on to first for the sure out. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Man, that, that was a third. comedy of errors the right there. Basement. They're kicking the Ryan ball all over the Anderson. yard, and the runner on first comes all the way around to score. So you wonder why managers retire early? There's your answer right there. Stepping in, Brian Anderson. As we show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Hey. Splitter here, and it's taken for strike one. one and set up behind the plate is Ricky Holiday, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. I can't figure his zone out. He doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Dero, you hit the That's nail right cool. on the head. I think one of the, the things we're reason. looking for, we're looking for Garrett. a consistent zone. If Cooper. it's a tight zone, it's a high zone, have the same zone. His zone fluctuates a little bit too much for my liking during the course of a game. With that, a look at the back order for the Marlins. Nero give us what you have on this lineup as they start a new series. You know Matty I took a look at this lineup today and getting a chance to talk to some of the guys around the cage. One thing that they preached to me was the fact that they were dead last in the league in grounding into double plays and well aware of the fact that they don't shoot themselves in the foot. They give themselves a chance when they're putting guys on base to drive in runs and not get that two for one sale. You go down 0-2 to a guy with this type of arsenal, man, you got to step out of the box, clear you. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So one run here, one hit, one error in the inning, and no one left. On now to the bottom of inning number one, the Marlins lead. Sandy Alcantara gets the call for game one of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matty, if he were getting a chance to watch a guy that's been struggling a little bit lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.40. So he's going to have to cut that down, limit the amount of base runners, limit the amount of walks if he wants to have some success in this one here today. Gene Segura standing in. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. 
Guys, this Marlins ball club as they begin play here tonight. They came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Maddie, this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team. First four games, they find themselves one and three. Haven't played particularly well. They'll find a way to regroup. They have to find a way to play a little bit more fundamentally sound. Start there first. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Alfaro has it. The throw to first is in time. One down. A moment now to check out the hometown Phil's starting lineup. Dero, what do you got in this lineup in the series opener? Well, Matty, the old cliche goes battlers, grinders. I know it gets old saying that, but that's the exact description of what this lineup presents today to the opposing pitcher. They do not strike out. He is going to have to grind. He is going to have to keep the ball in the ballpark, and his defense is going to have to be on point. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Sent on the ground out the second. And quickly there are two away. Batting third. The right fielder. Right. Harper. So bases are empty here with two gone and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Line to the right side but well, this will be pulled in out there at second base and that'll be that. Three up three down for Philadelphia. They still trail one nothing. Number one, not the shiniest of batting average as he comes Number in hitting one. down in the 220s for the year. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing Here's pitch. Run. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Oh, and he's really yep. getting the better of him now. It's strike two. That's a real tough pitch to hit. That's as in the pitcher's jargon, we call that the Hall of Fame pitch, that slider down and in. Really, the only way you're going to be able to hit that pitch is if you're looking for it down and in. And still then, it's a really difficult pitch to hit. And there's your first out of the inning. Time that to take good. a look at the Philly D. The catcher. And guys, the thing I want you to take a look All at five. today is in today's game, the new age, everyone wants to move around. This manager does not like to shift a lot. Maybe a step to your right or left, but there's a lot of trust that the pitchers are going to execute. So let's see how it works out for them in this one. Now at the plate, Jorge Alfaro. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. 0 and 1 the count. One out, nobody on. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Hit hard on the ground to second. Hernandez is there. Throw gets him two down. Batting seven. The left fielder. Number 44. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Austin Dean batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. And a ball 1-0. Oh. Right. Ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Hit down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Here now the 2-2. Gets the outside corner, strike three. Miami down in order, and after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He'll start us out here in the home half the of the second. Three. 
Hoskins. First pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Reese Hoskins with a solo shot number 11 for him on the season and it brings the Phillies back even now at one apiece. Wow talk about a guy getting hot right hits a bomb hit one yesterday usually when he gets hot he starts to hit them in bunches and this could be the beginning of a very very good hot streak. Standing in now, Corey Dickerson. Corey Dickerson just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Dickerson can be considered a bit of a one-dimensional hitter, I guess, in terms of making contact. He tends to see the ball out of right-handed pitchers' hands well, but doesn't seem to pick up the left-handers at the same level. And Dickerson behind 0-2 now. Wow, great pitch right there, right? Changing speeds. How about that straight changeup? How about that swing? Howdy, if you're waving at me. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Mine to the right side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Batting stick. The catcher. JT. Real Muto. Standing in, JT Real Muto. And you can see he really enjoys hitting here at Citizens Bank Park, which is not a shocker. It's a good place to be a hitter. As a look, now the pitch. Zero. Ah, great curveball there. Really oh, fooled him with that one. In a double play situation, that's the location you want a guy to swing at. More than likely, he's going to beat it into the ground. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0 oh, and 2 now. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. All right, here's the defensive alignment for the Miami Marlins. And let's take a look at Brian Anderson. This guy, when I see him out there on the field, I think of one thing. He's a ball player. Offers versatility for his manager. Outfield, little third base. He was fighting for the 2018 Rookie of the Year. At the plate, Andrew McCutcheon. Here it comes. A swing and a ground ball to third. Scooped up. And indeed, no look at second. He'll go straight to first and take the sure out. Batting it. The third baseman, Michael Ronco. Coming to the plate now, Michael Franco. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First pitch coming. Here it is. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Ready with the 0 and 1. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this.
at the plate. Number 48 hitting Big just a bit Miami. over the Mendoza the line field. on the year. Number 48. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Here's the 0 and 2. Count remains at 0 and 2. Another 0 and 2 coming. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting up. The pitcher, number 22. So here now is the pitcher, Sandy Alcantara, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Watching him on the mound, I'm really impressed with what he's doing right now. He's been really aggressive and confident over the last couple of innings. A ball and two strikes to the Marlins pitcher. In tight with the slider, two and two. He went with the off speed there once he got him the 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Popped him up. Real Muto has a play, and he brings it in on the warning track. Now batting, number 47. Now in the box, number 47. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much oh, controlled the whole outcome up until this point. One and oh, the count. Two out, nobody on. Line towards center field. McCutcheon is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Marlins. Home half of the third coming up, tied at one. We're back as the Phillies lineup readies for their third turn with the bats. And unfortunately for them, this club has had its issues on offense. It's no secret scoring runs has been a major issue as they rank last in the league in that category. But getting runners on base has been just as big of a problem. Their on base percentage is the lowest in the league. One player told me earlier, we certainly have a lot of work to do. It's frustrating for everyone involved, but results aren't going to come from being frustrated. Every one of us needs to reevaluate our game to and look for ways to start having better overall at bats. Pitcher. Matt, back Let's to you. Go. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Here comes the first pitch. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a called strike two. A one ball, two strike count to the Phillies pitcher. Basic pitching right there. 0 2 fastball up and out of the zone. Change the eye level. Now time to go to that curveball down and away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Number one onto the grass, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. No so one gone Number now two. as we give you a look at Short where stop. these two teams find themselves Three. entering play in the National Short League's off. Eastern Division race. Digging in, Gene Segura. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish, this A.B. Here's a fastball that's wrapped out to left center, and this is going to get down for a base hit. So a one-out base hit has him aboard here in the third, and that seems as good a time as any to check out our league leaderboard in hits. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. So next to the plate for the Phils, Cesar Hernandez. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. 
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch, and it's fouled away. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1 1 tie. Behind 0 and 2 now. Here it comes, 0 and 2. Another one sent foul. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Here's another 0 2. Check the swing there and pops this one up. And no one will get this one. The 0 2 once more gets him looking. Strike three. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored, looking right or fielder. swinging. He tried right. to check his swing, but I'm pretty Harper. sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. And now Bryce Harper. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Fouled off. Segura leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. The throw to first is in time and the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. Through three complete, all tied one apiece. Riding in once again, Miguel Rojas. Leading off for, for one for him here in this the one. Shortstop. Miguel Rojas. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Mm, a little tardy there. No Hold balls and a strike. We're moving along in this one, heading into the middle innings. This guy continuing to pitch well, right. and one of the reasons why first pitch strike ratio over 70 percent up to this point in this game. Ready with the 0 2 fly ball out toward left center field Dickerson's after it he gets to it and makes the catch for the first out now batting the third baseman Brian Anderson into the box now Brian Anderson he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here comes the first pitch. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. Swung on and lifted into shallow center field. Hernandez ranges back and he has it for out number two. Now batting the first baseman Garrett Cooper. So here's the cleanup hitter Garrett Cooper. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah and he didn't put up much of a fight either Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Boy dear it's about time they got something brewing here. First oh, pitch single and no, maybe no. now they can start to get some traffic on the bases. Yeah absolutely Dan. Ambush tactics not always the play. You want to drive that pitch count up and get into that bullpen but sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Into the box now number one Harper is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Reese Hoskins. He went Four deep in his first at bat. We'll the see what he's got in hit. store for us Three. here. Yeah, that last at bat, oh, he yeah. turned that fastball on. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Here's the first pitch to him. 
Good off-speed pitch, had him out in front for strike one. Not an easy thing to do to fill up the strike zone and be successful doing it. How about this guy so far in this one? 100% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Hoskins playing here in his age 26 season. He was a fifth round pick during the 2014 draft. Hey this middle round selection is still developing but he's doing it at the big league level and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. That was a good job the tying him up Number inside 31. on that strikeout pitch. Corey. It wasn't even in the strike zone, Dickerson. but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Stepping in now, Corey Dickerson. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The batter, the catcher, Jake Real Muto. Stepping up now, JT Real Muto. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First offering on its way. Hit high and deep to left field. Dean going back on it, still ranging back. Now a leaping effort at the wall, but he comes up empty. This one is gone. Home run. JT Real Muto with a solo shot. Number 10 for him on the year. And it's given the Phils a 2-1 to one lead. Well, he was on cruise control, just needing one more out to get out of the inning, but he came up with a plan. Base is empty. Now he didn't have to think about no shooting fielder. one to the opposite field or shortening the swing to move oh, the runners. Okay. He just wound up and let her rip. A solo shot as the result. Throw to first yeah. in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Phillies get one in the frame, courtesy of this solo home run. We played four. Now two to one, Philadelphia. And we're back from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Don Mattingly about the Marlins' offensive production. And flat out, he told me they just need to put better swings on the ball right now. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet, so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key, he said, is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight through the downturns and keep your focus and energy high. For Miami. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Jorge. Strike one oh, to start oh. the at-bat. Now the 0-1. Boy, he comes Here's back on. with a beautiful pitch there, and he's dominating this at-bat. It's 0-2 now. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. The 1-2. Popped him up. And the leadoff man gone now to start the fifth. The batter, number 44. Into the box, Austin Dean comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Your Jose Alvarez, please. a 5 foot now 11 inch left handed reliever, enters to take number over 52. on the mound now. Jose. And a first pitch Over slider red. is right there for strike one. Oh, he thanks his lucky stars right there getting away with that hanger. I could not believe he didn't pull the trigger on that pitch. Behind 0-2 now. Oh, that misses 1-2. and two. 
there's a good slider down and in at that back foot. That's a tough pitch to lay oh, off as a hitter and a great pitch as a pitcher. That's one of those. How could he not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. I mean, that has to frustrate the guy on the mound right there. You get him down 0-2, no, no foot away pitch, works to count back to neutral, and is able to mix in a base hit. Nice job. No oh, balls and a strike to count. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? There's another slider. That's back to back good sliders. And this guy's breaking ball is really good. And when he's throwing it well like he is and he's confident with it, he can throw it three or four times in a row. A really good slider in this one. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. the plate Michael Franco looking to put the ball Billy. in play here he went the down on strikes basement. in his first at bat Michael. yeah and kind of shocked he got blown oh. away with a fastball you could tell he was late on that one and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB high fly ball out to straightaway center waiting on it the center fielder one down Logan Morrison will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. He's hitting for the Phillies. Number eight, Logan Morrison. And he fouls this one off. The 0 1 pitch. Liner toward right center. And this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer, good hands to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. First pitch of the at-bat. Slap hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. Morrison blows through the stop sign. Headed for home. He is in time. And he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him now down. Back. The second baseman. Cesar. Ready once again. Cesar Hernandez. No hits to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Segura, the runner at first with two gone. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Wow, how about that? He was tempted to make a swing at that pitch right there. That was way out of the zone, but he just kept his hands back enough. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. <laughs> Trying to send him packing for the second time. Hard hit to first. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. And I can't blame the now pitching batting. coach for making that right walk. Fielder. That's three consecutive right. two-out hits here. So Harper. he's going to remind his guy that they just need to make one good pitch and get this inning over with. Let's see if the talk does any good. Oh. 
digging in once again. Bryce Harper looking to make it three straight two out hits here. He's got a runner in scoring position at second. Looking to keep this a one run game the pitch. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. In his career Harper is carrying around a sparkling slugging percentage up over 500. Obviously a huge threat every time he grabs a bat. He set the 0 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And now the Marlins bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right hander start to get loose. A pause. And the 0 2 is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Phillies leave a couple as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Your Drew Smiley please. will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 number on the year so far. Drew Smiley. So the lineup flips over and digging in number Marvel. 47 one for right two field. on his line so far number in the game. Here's the first pitch to him. To short hit hard. Throw to first gets him so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting the shortstop Miguel Rojas. Digging in to try it again. Miguel Rojas. He flew out in his last at bat. Aye. Took a little off and it's in for a called strike one. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. Zero. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. The batter, the third baseman, Ryan Anderson. So coming to the plate, Brian Anderson. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here comes the first pitch. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Hey, you can tell by the look on that manager's face, he's obviously frustrated right now. But it's a long season. You're going to have a lot of ebbs and flows with your offense. Does he take a step back and relax a little bit, or does he call a team meeting right after this one? Fouled away. One run on three hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Smiley features one of the biggest yackers in the game. Curveball's got a ton of movement. Popped up. Smiley is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and six coming up. The Phillies lead it two to one. Coming to the plate now, Reese Hoskins. Way to go. He's Four one for Philly. two in this one. The first baseman, Reese. Here it comes. Grounded back up the middle, and that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Into the box, Corey Dickerson. Owen won the count. Comes set and the 0 1. I uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0 and 2 now. Oh. 
Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. This ball will be chopped foul. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one, but the funny thing is, he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes, but he's just not throwing enough quality strikes. The 1 2. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Another 1 2 delivery. Hit hard down the right field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Hit to first. Oh, he whiffs on it as it's by him at first. Throw into third. But too late, and he's safe at third. Danny, how frustrating is this right here? First and third, you got problems all over the place. You come right up, right, out, right? You're starting your inning fresh. You're expecting to have a one, two, three inning. You look up, and all of a sudden, first and third, nobody out. It's time to make some good pitches. And now the Miami manager's up out of the dugout and on his way out to the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do Your it for his starter please. here tonight. Now pitching for Miami. He'll wind up lasting Number just five 56. innings here. Didn't Tyron. pitch all that poorly, Tyron. yet he's gone nonetheless. Standing in now, JT Real Muto as he'll reach for one and come up empty for the first strike. Guerrero has over 40 innings on his line so far, and in that time, he's compiled a whip under 1.3. Translation, he's better than league average in that category. A one count, here's the pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Long run for the right fielder. But he can't make the play as it finds the outfield ground. But he's safe at third as he's able to scramble back. Now batter. Better field. Boy, Gero, we're and looking through. at a big inning right here with Mark, that single. Mark, yeah. Bases are loaded, yet no runs have scored in this inning. Yeah, and that's exactly what that pitcher wants to do. You have to eliminate the noise, Dan. Just try and drive in the guy from third base. Don't put pressure on yourself that you have to get everyone in with one swing of the bat. Pass the baton and keep the line moving. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now the 1 0. Hit in the air out to center field. Under it is the center fielder. One down. Stand their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Man, this is a spot third where you really want to get greedy as a hitter. Bases loaded, Let's nobody go. out. You're hoping for that big swing of the bat. What does he get? A sacrifice fly, and only one run scores. I'm sure he wanted more, but he's not going to complain about the RBI. Into the box now, Michael Franco. He swings and grounds it to short. The second for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. Seventh inning coming up. Philadelphia is on top, three to one. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. First offering on its way. Hit in the air out to right. And the seventh inning starts with a fly out here, one away. Now batting, number one. 
In now, number one. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball, and it gets by him a swinging strike. Hey, boys, although I'd love to get all over this offense for underachieving, let's tip our cap to this pitching staff right here. They've been able to execute, working all four quadrants and keeping this team totally off balance. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. The two two. Grounder down the line at third. Well, and he has some trouble with it. No, he can't. Well, when you're winning a game this late, yeah, the right. last thing you want to do is give the other team okay. some hope, and that's what this air does. They have a base runner and a chance to make some noise now. In there, strike one. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll Number extend 44. his hitting streak. Yeah, and he didn't come out of his he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day, Dan. Kept the front shoulder tucked, kept the ice water in his veins, and didn't try and get too big. Extends the hitting streak. Nice job. You know, D Row, I talked to him before the game about the streak, and he said the toughest part is he hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait to the seventh inning and this one to come through. First delivery to him on the way. In there at the letters 0 and 1. Hey, that's a huge pitch right there. You've got to get ahead. When you start to see traffic on the base pass, your defense starts to tighten up a little bit. The best thing to do is pound the zone and get ahead 0 1. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul for strike two. A swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Now batting. Number 48. Digging in. Number 48. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. Strike one to start the at bat. Two men are on with two men out. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 2 now. With runners on base, two outs, and two strikes, this is a. And the third baseman is there to make the catch, Ladies and the inning is over. Marlins grand a pair. They still trail it here, three to one. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Adam Conley gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home Miami. seventh. Now pitching and batting in the eighth spot, number 61. Adam. Number 73 is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. And now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. And he struck him out. That's not an at-bat he's going to look back on and be happy about. Obviously, the, batter, the strikeout two, result isn't good. Shortstop. But to go down on three pitches, and none of which were even in the strike zone, as you see there, that's not a good look.
Stepping in now, Gene Segura, as he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Digging in and looking for more, Cesar Hernandez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First offering on its way. No balls and a strike to count. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball and it's still 0 and 2. Ready with another 0 2. A bouncer up the middle. Rojas has it. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Phillies down in order as the lead remains 3 to 1. Nick Vincent please. has been summoned from the now bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 29. Yeah. Vincent. Now batting, John Birdie. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the Leaked eighth after Miami. entering off the bench the just a little bit ago. Oh Good fastball God. down around the knees there, Birdie. taken for a strike. to the left side but it's well foul. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair it's gone but it bends just foul into the second deck. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. McCutcheon on the move. But the left fielder calls him off and makes the catch. And that's now the battle. first down of the inning. Number Our line seven. score to this point tells the story. You see the Phillies leading this one at home here at Citizens Bank Park as we draw nearer to the end. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, number 47. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch of the at bat. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Out to short for Segura. He's got it. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Good now pitch right there to run the two seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball as the result. Into the box, Miguel Rojas. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Here's a little chopper up the middle, scooped up on the backhand. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So nothing happening this time around. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. Phillies on top, three to one. Your Ryan Stanek is on to pitch now out of the bullpen in the Miami. bottom half of the eighth. Number 35, Ryan Stanek. Ready for another chance? Bryce Harper. It was a flyout for him in his no last field. trip. 
almost, right. Matty. Almost went deep his last Harper. AB. Certainly just missed it. With this Here guy's on. big power, he's feeling Hold pretty on, good man. at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this AB. You never want to take the aggression away from a ball player, but in this situation, I'd like to see the leadoff guy try and work the count a little bit more, especially when his pitcher's missing like he is. Harper behind with an 0-2 oh oh count now. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Here it comes, 0 and 2. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. The 0 2 once more. And another foul ball. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Under it is the right fielder. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The first baseman, number 17, three. And now it'll be the cleanup oh, spot for the Phillies, Reese Hoskins. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. First delivery to him on the way. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right hander is up and throwing. The 0 1 hit the other way out toward right field. Waiting on it, the right fielder, two down. The left fielder, number 31, Corey Dickerson. Digging in now, Corey Dickerson. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. First pitch on its way. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Birdie is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. And it's still three to one. So digging in now, Brian Anderson. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, it didn't look good right there. Just out in front. You know, sometimes when a pitcher has great arm action, you're going to get that. You're trying so hard. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to left as it's now a 3-2 ball game. Well, when you groove the first pitch a strike, these hitters are going to make you pay. Something tells me I don't have to tell the guy on the mound that anymore. That hurts, Garrett. And that'll bring Cooper. in Garrett Cooper. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 0-1. Now a rocket deep down the line in left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. The throw into second. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it hugged now the line it. and found its way Double into one. the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. Next for Miami, number one. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. And it's fouled away. Looking for the K, here's the pitch. Fouled off. Hit back up the middle. Hernandez ranging up the middle. And that's out number one. 
Now and this is not an the easy catcher. play when you have to Four range games. to your right. All he far. really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. In now, Jorge Alfaro. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. And he's got a chance to tie things up here as the equalizer sits just 90 feet away. Hit in the air down the right field line. Harper is there. Let's see if they test it. Long throw to the plate. He's in there at the plate. And that ties the ball game in the top of the ninth. Number 44. Now at the plate, Austin Dean. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like he got fooled a little bit. A little bit out front, ended up popping out. Expect him to be a little bit more. Well, the first baseman is under it to make the play, and that retires the 